welcome back to our YouTube channel. So Lauren Simpson here and, and Holly. Woo. And we are currently seven days out from the WBFF World, which is in Bahamas. I'm so, so excited. Oh, I'm so excited too. Mm -hmm. uh, we are in Tampa, so I've just arrived visiting Holly for the next couple of days before we all fly out. Um, me, Mark, Holly and Lane. Lane. Yeah. It's gonna be good. So um, in Tampa at the moment for the next couple of days and just getting everything ready. We're staying in a hotel mm -hmm. and we're gonna show you today what it's like, um, what it's gonna be like for the next couple of days in terms of our meal prep, mm -hmm. training, everything. Everything that goes <laughs> on in the lead up to the shows. There is a whole lot that goes on behind the scenes that I'm sure a lot of people would be interested in seeing what goes down. Yeah, well, uh, so today my morning has started out. I mean, I had a lot of cardio I had to get done. So um, I did my final spin class this morning, which was awesome. Uh, the energy from the class that I did, I just love it. So that was a really kind of positive way yeah. to finish my really hard hitting uh, cardio session. And then I've just been running around, um, still trying to finalize my visa, which has been really nerve wracking. I know. I have um, an interview at this point. I have an interview on Monday morning, so I'm um, not definitely going, but we have the interview, and that's There's the biggest progress. thing. So um, I've just been stressed out with that, but it's been nice to kind of get over to. We're in Clearwater at the moment, which is so just um, on the beach, um, kind of getting our minds in the right place I guess yeah. and just time to focus so you know all the hard work's really been done now with our training yeah and a few more sessions left to go yeah we'll hit the gym tomorrow and Monday and I'll be the big hitting yeah. ones and probably just cruise on into yeah. Yeah. a few sessions there so today we kind of wanted to talk to you about um I guess what our macro targets have been over maybe the last couple of weeks, yeah. um, what they are this weekend, uh, and also just the types of foods that we're kind of eating yeah. leading into this and how we manage, like when there's all these beautiful restaurants and stuff outside, Sad. like what do we do <laughs> in a situation yeah. where, you know, you're probably re relatively limited to what we can choose. Exactly. So, um, Lauren, do you want to start with... Um, I guess maybe do a bit of a brief summary about maybe the last four weeks of yeah. where your macros have kind of started and where you're at now um, and then I can do the same yeah, for, sure. for me. So I started my cut for the WBFF world about eight weeks ago now and I started my cut on about 1900 calories Decent. and <laughs> for me I am now on 1500 and I have been on 1500 calories I think for the last two and a half weeks. I did have a two day mini diet break refeed in yeah. that time period yeah. um, and that's all I've had this eight weeks. Oh. Um, <laughs> I know. Uh, 1500 calories is staying at that. Um, I haven't dropped it the last two and a half weeks because I have been progressively getting quite a lot leaner. I can drop yeah. really well on these calories. Um, I haven't uh, included any extra cardio, haven't increased my steps or anything. It's just yeah. purely from being consistent with my diet, yeah. um, that I have managed to get leaner and leaner and leaner. Yeah. Um, so what was your weight when you started to I, now? Yeah, so when I started um, was actually when I just came back from and I visited you guys. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you were about to enter ago. week one. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I finished that off at about 63 kilos, and I think I'd be getting pushing into the 57s at the moment. Okay. So mm -hmm. I've lost quite a bit in there last it eight seems, weeks. It seems to happen pretty quickly like towards the end. Yeah. I think um, as you get leaner as well I certainly notice like my desire to be really compliant um, it's, kind of It's very back. motivating as soon as I start to see my body change yeah. like first couple of weeks were a bit slow and I only really started to drop significantly on the scales like the last three weeks yeah otherwise it was like exactly for me too very very minor changes yeah uh, in terms of my macros I'm on about 150 protein 40 fats and 130 something carbs so yeah, yeah not it's, yeah 1500 calories it's not super low at the moment um, it's manageable yeah and, um, <laughs> I've been traveling now for the last few days I've come over from Australia and so that means I am afloat a little bit out of jet lag, and, um, <laughs> jet lagged, which is hard every time I get super tired and obviously get really hungry. And mm. it's just, yeah, getting back into rhythm and routine with my eating at the moment. Yeah. I'm very structured. 
and way more structured than me. Yeah, <laughs> my food choices are very basic and I do cook a lot, especially at home. I've been having all of my meals at home just for pure ease, consistency, yeah. and just yeah, hitting my targets. So yeah. being over here, I've had to kind of um, it is tough when you yeah, travel. Yeah, it really is. Just go to the grocery store and pick up a few things. And we're staying obviously at places that do have cooking facilities, which makes yeah. it a hell of a yeah, lot easier. Yeah, we have as a well. really good kitchen back here. It's so I like, nice. I track. <laughs> I think I like inquire into like several different hotels because Lane and I often come down to Clearwater and stay just for a weekend. And all the hotels that we usually stay in, uh, they didn't have like big kitchens. So we're in a new one today, which is kind of nice. And it was going to make things a little bit easier yeah. for us so um how's your diet and everything been yeah it's been uh better in the last five weeks so i actually hit a plateau so um, a lot of you guys if you follow me you've probably seen my 18 week prep journey so it's a little bit longer than mine <laughs> so i wish mine was shorter but part of that strategy was first for my first and foremost i had a lot more body fat to lose because i'd had a really big off season uh, where I was trying to build muscle. So usually accompanying that muscle gain is a lot of body fat regain. So um, my duration needed to be a little bit longer and I also wanted to put in some diet breaks just for the fact that I knew it was gonna be long. So I wanted to make sure that I was setting myself up for a really positive, um, like a psychological break um, throughout the prep. So um, yeah, I was an 18 week prep. I started at about 2400 calories and then my initial drop I came down to about 1700 mm. so a little bit lower than Lauren um, and it's probably reflective of our metabolism so Lauren, I'm gonna guess you've probably done a better job over the years perhaps at being consistent in eating more calories because mm, yeah my my body has just had a bit of a hard time although this prep <laughs> i am on a lot lower calories than i yeah. did last year last year my peak week i was on like over 2000 yeah. i think the lowest my calories I did one day with deplete which was like 1400 yeah otherwise around 1800 calories yeah and that's the trend like the more that you compete um unless you're really taking a good off season like a full 12 dieting diets, dieting dieting down that repeat Repeated diet behavior, you're probably going to start to see, you know, it requires more and more effort every single time unless you take the time off to repair. So, and I guess for us, uh, for those that don't know, I do bikini and yeah. Holly does fitness, yes. and the level of conditioning that we need to get into obviously is reflective of that as well. So, yes. Holly, you need to I guess push it obviously a lot more <laughs> to get shredded than yeah. what someone like me does. I don't need to yeah. drop that extra body fat that you obviously would need to. Exactly. So I think, um, yeah, Lauren and I have slightly different body types. I guess um, you've probably seen some of our other videos. We've talked about this before, but um, for a fitness competitor, uh, I probably need to be good and well under 10% body fat, like and pushing, you know, very striated looking physique at the end so um yeah that's why i have to go a little bit more aggressive it's you know i've had a lot of people give me negative flack on social media like oh you know you promote having a really healthy metabolism and not dieting on such low calories well sad to say when you're trying to get striations in your butt cheeks sometimes there's like you a level of yeah. dieting that is mandatory so yeah it kind of um shows you the difference between the bikini, bikini competitors yeah so for us it's all about like shape and yeah coming in like for me if anything i try not coming as lean yeah, or we were, as hard we were just talking about that before you were like oh i can't get too lean otherwise you're kind of yeah. bordering you know so it means like out. peak week for me like is it a true peak week no i feel for bikini girls you don't really need to there's nothing crazy that's going to happen to your physique yeah. because we're not getting down to that level of conditioning. So for me, peak week isn't actually any different yeah. to a normal week for me. It's yeah. might have, have a couple of days of extra carbs just yeah. to fill out a little bit. Yes. But at the end of the day, I'm not trying to um, get that really hard, grainy muscle look that obviously yeah. like, like fitness figure competitors do. Ex so. Exactly. So yeah, my calories are down to 12.50. They have been at 12.50 now for three weeks. <laughs> the first week, honestly, I was dead. Like 
I couldn't speak. I could hardly move. I was really emotional, like even just trying to get into the gym. Like, I, I feel like this on 1,500 calories. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I remember like one day I was trying to do like pull downs and I just stuck the weight that I usually would do. And I think I got like four reps in and I just like, I lost it. Just got <laughs> tears just streaming down my face. I'm like, I can't believe this is so difficult. So yeah, I think the initial drop in calories is always more challenging and then you kind of sadly adapt That's to it. Mm. Um, so yeah, my targets at the moment are 155 protein. They haven't changed for the entire yeah. prep. Um, 90 carb and 30 fat. So um, I guess moving into peak week for me, uh, I'm trying to continue to drop as much body fat as I can. So I've got a few more yucky days, I guess. Yeah. Um, and I'm probably gonna do a um, more aggressive um, carb reload coming into the show maybe just on Friday or even the morning of I tend to respond pretty yeah. immediately um, to carbs when I've you know done a bit of a pump up so yeah I got a few more gritty days left but yeah it's all worth it and what sort of foods have you been eating on 1200 calories what are some staples <gasps> well I think uh, my protein sources I kind of try to vary them a little bit and you'll get to see what we kind of we're like take you guys to, yeah we're gonna go shopping <laughs> soon so we're gonna hit up the supermarket um I've got I always do like a single protein um shake at least once a yeah. day I always have a Greek yogurt, um, a fat-free Greek yogurt, um, mixed in with flavors or you know fruits and things like that. They're kind of always in yeah. there. Where, where it is in the day, completely, completely different. Um, and then I try and like mix up my um, animal protein source. So like I try to make sure I'm hitting my iron targets, um, and you know getting plenty of red meat and chicken and fish and seafood. So yeah, I guess we're gonna head to the supermarket yeah. and you guys can. Uh, see some of the food choices that we have yeah. um, and what we're going to be eating over the next couple of days. Yes. Probably going to be a little bit of a difference between what I buy and what Holly buys. We yeah. are going to stick to kind of what we already have been having and what we know works well for us, which I think is important as well leading up to the show. So yeah, you'll see the individual differences <laughs> and there's definitely no right or wrong, I guess. It's just, you know, people diet for shows differently. So let's head to the store. Uh, grab some foods and we're gonna come back here and do a little bit of cooking and so you can see how this works. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my god, don't <laughs> I'm gonna try this once more. <laughs> I don't think I have ever been successful at working out how to use a phone. Once it called like an emergency and the lady was like, is everything okay? I'm like, yeah, I just can't get the phone to stop ringing. When you're going shopping, do you think more of macros, like I'm going to get protein sources, carb sources, or do you think meals? Um, at the moment for me, I have a couple of foods that I just really enjoy because my calories are so low. I've got to find stuff that I just know I like and I know the macros perfectly. Um, so I'm going for familiarity at this point. What about you? For me, I yeah, probably just ease and familiar, familiar, familiarity. Familiarity. <laughs> <I'm> brain. <laughs> so, um, especially now that I'm out of routine, you know, like purely for me now, I just eat to get my macros in. Like I'm not eating really out of enjoyment, enjoyment now. I know they're basic, but it's only a couple of days. So for me, I'll only probably be eating like chicken, maybe turkey. Egg whites. I've been just having rice cakes for my carbs or yeah. fruit and just like salad and veggies. Yeah, they're just things that track. I haven't exactly things that are super easy to track and I'm okay with eating very boring basic food. <laughs> I struggle <laughs> with eating boring and basic food. <laughs> you ever and find it's yourself? The, it's the chef in me. Yeah. Sometimes I put my meals on my Instagram story and I'm like, this is horrible. Like it'll be like a little bit of mint. Right. Like you ever find just random ass stuff? Yeah. I'm like the queen of random combos. That's like my thing. It's exactly the same. So you just get it done. So I think I'm going to use um, some lean beef mints this week. I'm going to make uh, my favorite bolognese mints. And I'm going to be getting some uh, zero calorie pasta noodles. 
uh, which is really voluminous, um, very low calorie, high fiber. Yeah, I might jump in on that one. Yeah, that. Um, the macros for this meal that I'm making are about 35 protein, um, 12 grams of carbohydrates, and I think it's about six grams of fat per serve. Um, and I can have a couple of those a day, and I'm so satisfied. They weigh, like by weight, it's about 400 grams served. Um, We're so all about the volume foods now, guys. Really, really not really. calorie dense. We just want things that are going to give us a lot of food, keep us full, and yeah, exactly. I have made myself a bit of a list, so I've got to get um, all the ingredients for the pasta. So I'm just adding a bunch of extra veggies. Um, Mushrooms, onions, zucchinis, peppers, or capsicum if you're from Australia. <laughs> um, and then all of the noodles to go with that. So that I'll probably make up a big batch. It'll do me for maybe six meals. Um, I'll have three a day and then a couple of other different foods. And then I'm going to grab um, some fat-free dairy products. So I'm going to get and some milk alternatives, just low-calorie options for smoothies. Um, yeah, so... Nothing crazy, probably some strawberries, yeah. Fruits. yeah, I usually have an apple every day and I've been having blueberries. Yeah, just some low that's about it. Yeah, what do you cilantro? Cilantro, cilantro. Is, yeah. yeah. And you know what? So, um, rocket in Australia. Oh, it's what's it called here? It's called what? What? Yeah. yeah, what is rock? So what about all right? Let's talk uh, Aussie slang. There's Heaps. 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 Ar okay. Heaps. Heaps. Arvo. Heaps. What does Arvo mean? Oh, yeah, I say Arvo. Uh -huh. Do you need it? Are you getting a trolley? Yeah. I'm just getting what the? What's a trolley? What do you call it? A shopping cart. Oh. Yeah, that's another one. There you go. Straight away. Uh, trolley. Yeah. No one knows what a trolley is. Yeah. 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 And um, a pram. I found this out with kids. So we call it um, a trolley. Stroller. Yeah, what? a pram. Pram. Yeah, no idea. All right, so make sure that you're, you know, speaking loudly. Yeah. Camera's pretty good, but you know, you don't have a microphone on. All right. So first thing I'm probably gonna grab, which I can see here, is already gonna be a good option for me, is um, this tzatziki dip. We're going out in the boat tomorrow, um, and it's, you know, the food that is really common when you're out entertaining is like cheese and biscuits dip. Um, so this is the lowest calorie one, it's only 15 calories per serve, so I'm going to get that. A bunch of like cucumbers, capsicums, or peppers, some celery sticks. So those that. are, those are usually this. fatty? These are... I mean, this. I, <laughs> the second time yeah. I saw these guys today, I was at the gym earlier, saw oh, her yeah. and, and big couple, muscle guy. Couple pretty blonde Aussies. <laughs> whatever, whatever. All you right. guys have a good one. You're in the video. God bless. Bye. Um, you're about to ask me something. I was asking normal tat yeah, excuse us. Normal um, tatsiki is fatty. Um, no, there's there's two types of tatsiki. I'm picking the light one. Sometimes it's a little higher in fat, depending on whether they use a fat-free um, dairy product or not. So sometimes they might use a full cream yogurt, which would have a little bit more fat. But generally, tatsiki is a pretty safe bet. Um, on the other hand, like pesto dips and stuff, um, which are kind of smothered with oil and pine nuts, they're very high in fat. So, um, yeah, that's my pick for today. What are you getting more? I was just looking at the pre-made salads. Yeah, keeping it but, easy. Yeah, I'll probably just buy a salad and things. Do we have, to, well, are you gonna buy containers? Probably should get some. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to get um, some salsa, I guess, just to put in um, with our dip, I guess. Very low calorie. This is only, again, uh, five calories. It's got two grams of carbohydrate. Super light, really refreshing, and it'll be nice out in the boat tomorrow. And we are on the water, so I'll grab that too. Um, so I'm just getting some flavorings. Um, these are pretty basically calorie free. Um, what would you put in those? Just water. So I like this to be nice um, and refreshing. Um, yeah, blackberry lemonade and strawberry lemonade, they're low calorie compared to drinking like a regular juice or something. So just... Mm -hmm. We have these in Australia. <laughs> I've never seen these. Like Game changer. Yeah, you get all the flavors, girl. Yeah, I'm just going to get some of these. Yeah, I'm just going to get some of these. Yeah, I'm just going to get some of these. Yeah, I'm just going to get some of these. Yeah, I'm just going to get some of these. Yeah, I'm just going to get some of these.
literally. Uh, so Holly, Holly always says we don't have this in Australia, and, no. and we usually debunk her sometimes. But I guess, uh, I guess she's right on. I'm gonna get some. What are these? Um, oh no, these are the full those sugar. Have, these I think those food. have like full sugar. 36 grams of sugar. <laughs> that would be what, 50% of your daily carbs? Legitimate. Okay, so we'll get the sugar-free. These have got two grams of sugar. What are these? So, Lauren, do you zero. drink a lot of zero-calorie, artificially sweet and stuff? This is probably like one of the first preps where I have been... I'm a very extreme person. If I go into like diet mode, then I used to just be very old school, clean eating, didn't allow myself to have many things outside of like your chicken, broccoli kind of food. So yes, this has been the first prep where I have allowed myself to flexible, flexible diet and enjoy my foods a lot more. So the answer is yes, I have like a lot of Diet Cokes, Coke Zero, um, yeah, just any kind of like low sugar, zero calorie no. thing. Grab a few of these for a bit of training tomorrow. These are good. Yeah. Oh, you have a cart. What's that? This is my favorite section of the store. Actually, over this way, let's have a look. I just want to eat all of these things. You have no idea. Like, as a baker, when I look at this. Just want to take a full cake to, to the face. I would love to. <laughs> So, again, thinking about trying to add volume, trying to make sure that I'm really feeling cool throughout the day. I'm going to grab some salad to kind of take out on the boat with us as well. So, let's get some over the bar. And then I'll probably serve that on the side with my spaghetti dish as well, just to add some extra volume. Let's see. Some fruit. So I'm just getting some fruit. Uh, I'll be taking this tomorrow on the boat. And also, I just have, I usually have an apple every single day. And keeps the doctor away. Keeps the doctor away, as they say. It's one of my favorite products. Um, I, can, I think I have every single flavor at my house. <laughs> So in Bolt House, they do really low calorie dressing. So they're all around 35 or 40. You want to check the macros on this. Two, two grams of fat, three grams of carbs, and one gram of protein. So that's a really good staple in my life. So I was talking about the low calorie um, noodles that I use. This is life, guys. When you're trying to enjoy pasta without the calories, these are the ones that I've used consistently throughout prep. Put them over. Five grams of carbohydrate, um, and there's two serves in here. So, yeah, I'll have a whole one of these with every meal. What else can I get? I'm not really on this because I'm not really buying much. <laughs> so they made us stop. We made it. We. I finished our grocery shop, but we missed a few things. So what happened? Uh, we had two managers come over and just tell us to stop filming. I was like, that's not very nice. <laughs> it's store promotion. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren is currently making us a coffee. We're just waiting for our groceries. Because caffeine is life. Caffeine is life at the moment. I think I've probably been averaging about 2,000 milligrams a day. That is a lot of caffeine. That is but, I am having, but I'm saying that I am having a decaf coffee because I do want to sleep because I have jet lag. <laughs> yeah, she's being smart. I actually metabolize caffeine really quickly, so I can have it almost like as I'm going to bed and it does nothing to me, which is good. But sadly, I don't get the same performance benefits from caffeine like everyone else. But um, a couple of people have asked questions about peak week and uh, soaked. soaked. 
salt loading or water loading um, it's actually all very unnecessary there's no science to support the need to do anything super extreme um, you know you'll hear a lot of people trying to dry out and they eat all their foods really dry in the week of peak week and um, you know they're doing all these crazy manipulations it's really not necessary um, in fact we want to have water and fluid inside our muscle our muscle is 75 percent water so it's very important to actually be pretty consistent uh, what you don't want to do is have large fluctuations in your sodium intakes and your fluid uh, particularly in this last week so I'm going to be trying to match what I normally do um, and I probably won't be going out for any Japanese food with soy because that hasn't been something that's been present in my diet for the last few weeks so um, my average sodium intake is probably about 2500 I think I can hear our grocery so Yay! How's it going? Good, thanks. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> can't tell we're like hungry. We're like, I know. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, I see some Doritos in there. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we've just kind of unpacked um, all of our stuff. Looks like a lot for a couple of days. It probably is there will be some leftovers. Um, so tonight I'm going to be cooking um, the bolognese mince. So I've got um, the 96% uh, lean beef that I was mentioning to you, which is much lower in calorie compared to regular. So it's only got four grams of fat and 23 grams of protein. So I'm going to make up enough to probably serve six, maybe five or six servings. Um, in that, I've got all the veggies, so literally everything you see here is going into that. So it's going to be a lot of volume, um, and consequently, because I am putting more veggies in than I would normally, it's going to be higher in fibre and carbohydrate. Um, I use this um, flavouring sachet uh, just to kind of help give it a little bit more oomph. And um, they also have, thankfully, I love being part of the US food culture because they have so many diet dairy products. The third fatless um, parmesan cheese gives it a really nice flavor. And then my favorite, we were looking at the pasta, um, the low calorie pasta. So I'll just kind of serve all this up in bulk. It'll probably take me about 30 minutes to make this and we're done. Um, I grabbed for tomorrow when we go out on the boat um, just some kind of things that we can pick at that are low calorie. I'm not sure whether Lauren will adventure. <laughs> but I will be. Uh, so I bought um, some 75% less fat cheese. This has only got two grams of fat per serving. Um, so I'll just slice this up and I'll probably pre-weigh a little packet for myself um, so I can kind of pick at that and then Lane and the boys can just do whatever they want to do. Celery sticks, my dip, um, cucumber, tomatoes, the low calorie salsa just for dipping. And then I'm going to make um, some little triangles out of this low carb lavish bread. The macros on this, if you guys haven't seen it, awesome. So for one, it's uh, 14 grams of carbohydrate, nine grams of protein and five grams of fiber. So I'll literally slice that into like little triangles and that can be like our dipping stuff. Um, and then I'll use those to make pizzas probably tomorrow night or for Monday. Um, we use this reduced fat um, turkey pepperoni reg rather than regular salami. So it only has uh, four grams of fat uh, for a 30 gram serve. And then I'll probably use some other um, lean protein sources too. So yeah. What about you, Lauren? What have you got? I have gotten, for my proteins, again, as I was talking before, I'm pretty basic at the moment. I'm happy to just cook up this and eat this pretty plain at the moment. So I got ground chicken and ground turkey breast. Both are, this one is what, 97, 98% fat free. This one is 99% fat free. So pretty good for my calories at the moment. Uh, so I'll just probably have that and uh, salads for my carbs I'll either have rice cakes I'll have veggies as well I've got fruits I've bought a few apples blueberries 
I also got just tins of tuna, so I'll add those to salads if I need to. Uh, but I have also protein sachets, which I will have in the morning for breakfast. I'll have oats. And that's about it. I, as I said, very basic with my foods at the moment. I'll probably eat at the hotel once or twice uh, over the next couple of days. Our drinks we've got, we've both got pretty similar. Um, zero sugar, Powerade, Gatorades. We also got some Coke Zeros. I like bang. Bang, I do too. I put some in the fridge. <laughs> Cotton candy is my favorite. Oh, I like rainbow uniforms. So oh, that's good too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I should have um, got some of those. We'll probably have the, I'll probably just keep these in for the next couple of days and then cut them out a little bit closer to show day. Yeah, you want to make sure that you're starting to eliminate um, you know, sweet, sweeteners and things like that. Um, and that's something else that I'll talk about in my update video, um, which will come out later in the week, probably after this videos so stay tuned for that um lauren do you still have coffee and drinks i have been having yeah still yeah. caffeine i have the i don't know if, for those of you who follow me but know that i have like before you speak coffee it's like that little sachet yeah, so I, I religiously have those every morning and then i have been having just yeah coffees and i have like sugar-free vanilla drops in those for yes. the sweetness I have, I still have a regular, like a latte. Yeah, I have long, so, I have long black Americanos. Yeah. I still like my milk, so I will track like 30 mils of this and I'll mix a little bit with this um, vanilla flavored cashew milk. Is that fat free? This is fat free. Yeah, fat free skim milk or cow's milk. So I do a mixture of both. Um, the reason I do that is this still has carbohydrates. So if I was to use full lattes with a whole cup of milk, I'd still be getting 13 grams of carbs, so I just She's split it to right. dilate it down a bit. <laughs> also, I'm about to have a coffee. Actually, Lauren's just made me one, which is awesome. But um, I've just also got my other supplements and stuff in here. So I've got protein powder, uh, another flavored peanut butter cookie protein powder. Um, I've brought with me um, a BCAA, um, just which I have in the mornings because I train fasted usually. Um, that just ensures that I'm kind of hitting my um, mTOR signaling pathways with some leucine in the morning so that I'm maximizing my potential to maintain my lean body mass. Um, my favorite popcorn brand, um, it's only 100 calories, 17 grams of carbs in a whole packet. So um, since my macros are so crap right now, this is really good. You're on the popcorn too, Lauren? I am, yes. yes. I've been having that religiously every single night for dessert after dinner. What else have I got? Well, we can have popcorn night tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've just bought like a few flavoring essence. I use this coconut with my um, smoothies. Um, that again, it's just like a one gram of carbohydrate per serve type thing. Bought my pumpkin pie spice and then some little puddings and stuff up here. So yeah, pretty simple. It'll get less and less as the week goes on as far as the diet products just to help with my GI, but I'll talk to you more about that next update. So you do update, are you going to do an update video too for your Yes, so I'm going to put up a separate Peak Week vlog up on my YouTube channel, which will discuss all things diet, training, mindset, everything Peak Weeks so that will be up on my channel later in the week as well. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, yeah, I think we're about to get busy cooking now. Yeah, we're so hungry. <laughs> Look, I've had seven grams of fat for the whole day because we're actually meeting some friends of ours who have competed today, uh, and we're going out for dinner. So I've got. I had to leave as many calories as I could. So mm. this is just all looking pretty decent right now. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you're not subscribed to our channels, please do. You can jump onto Lauren's channel. Where can we find you? What's your YouTube channel? Just search Lauren Simpson in YouTube and you'll find my one on there. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, and if you're not subscribed to me, make sure you subscribe, like these videos, like Lauren's videos as well. Leave us a comment. Yes, and thank you for watching. <laughs>